This is video 26 in our series on topics in quantum mechanics. The uh, playlist for all of our videos is at digital-university.org. Okay, we have spent you know, several uh, videos discussing a new operator that we had introduced. I think it was in video number 23 and also what the Hamiltonian looks like when you have a one-dimensional harmonic oscillator. And then we had spent a couple of videos deriving these relationships with our two operators, A and A Dagger. And then in the last video, we considered what effect does the operator A have on one dimensional quantum mechanic harmonic oscillator that is governed by this equation. This essentially is a Schrodinger equation now in a one dimensional harmonic oscillator. And what we discovered was is that when A operates on this on both sides, it lowers the energy of the system. Now we want to consider what happens when instead of using A, we use its complex conjugate, A dagger. So, let's take a look at this. And we can start right with the ground state of the system. And remember now, here's our Hamiltonian operating on an energy, in this particular case, an energy um, ground energy eigenstate, and that's equal to some positive constant times that um, ground level eigenstate. We stated in the last video that for the Hamiltonian, its eigenvalues are not only real, but they're positive. We, didn't, we haven't proven that yet, but we make use of that fact. And also that the energy of the system is never negative. Something else we haven't proven that we'll try to get to perhaps in some future videos. What we want to do is take our equation like this and multiply both sides of it by the operator A dagger. So we will have A dagger times the Hamiltonian times the ground level eigenstate will equal This times a dagger times ground level eigenstate. Now here notice we have a dagger times h. And in a previous video, I think it was uh, video number 24, we showed that this commutator is equal to plus h bar omega a dagger. Of course, this just plus constant divided by 2 pi. Now this, by definition, is h a dagger minus a dagger h. So, here then we can say, well, a dagger h, that would be equal to h a dagger minus this. So we have h a dagger minus h bar omega a dagger times This eigenstate equals the right hand side does not change. So we have this. Now let's just do something very simple. Take this over to this side of the equation. And what we will have then is H. A dagger 
times this. Equal this, then we're going to have plus h bar a dagger. Times the ground level eigenstate. Or we can factor out the A dagger from here. This is plus H bar omega A dagger. So look what has happened. We started with this equation. We operated on both sides of it with a dagger, and let's bring this closer in. We have this, and essentially what we have is a new eigen function. This. Only here now, the energy eigenvalue for this eigenfunction is higher in value than it was for our original energy eigenvalue. So, operating on the system with a dagger gives a new eigenfunction that has an increased value in the, eigen, in the eigenvalue. For the eigenvalue is just E0, now we have E0 plus h bar omega. Now, so what we've done is so far, we have taken this equation and we have operated on it once with a dagger, and in so doing, obtain a new eigenfunction with an eigenvalue that is higher in magnitude than what we started with. All right, well, let's just try this just one more time then see what happens. Let's operate on this equation with a dagger. So, oh, we want to make certain now that we don't lose track of this equation. That's after one application of a dagger, that whole equation. Now, let's multiply both sides of the equation by a dagger. So we have this and that is equal to we will have this stays the same and here we'll have a dagger squared. the ground level eigenstate. Simply took this equation and multiply both sides by a dagger. A dagger here and a dagger here. Okay, now let's see what we have. Here we have a dagger, but what is it being multiplied by? It's being multiplied by this. But that a dagger h is this expression right here. So let's go ahead and put that in. So what we have here then is parentheses, and we're going to have h a dagger, the Hamiltonian. We have a dagger minus this, with a dagger, like this, and we have this a dagger, times 
ground level hybrid state. And this side stays unchanged. So we have this. And we have a dagger squared. Try to keep things in focus now. Times the ground level eigenstate. Like this. Now, let's see, let's just simply multiply field here. So here, this will give us h a dagger squared times this. So we got h a dagger squared times this, then we have minus h omega a dagger squared times this. But let's take this term over this side of the equation. And we won't do any shortcuts. Let's write this down first. We have this. A dagger squared times the ground level eigenstate. Then this comes over as a plus. So we have plus h bar omega a dagger squared. Times the ground level eigenstate like this. Okay, we have this in focus. Let's try to do better here. Okay, so here we have E naught plus we have this times this times this, and we also have this expression. So you could take this. And put it into here, we, we would just have 2 h bar omega. We put this into here. So now, our equation becomes this. The Hamiltonian times a dagger squared times ground level eigenstate equals E naught plus, now we're going to have 2 h bar omega a naught squared times the ground level eigenstate. So let's see what has happened here. This now functions behaves like the new eigenfunction. And here is the corresponding eigenvalue. Well, we began here with this equation. And we operate on both sides with a dagger. So now here, when we get down to here, this was plus h bar omega. Now we operate on both sides of the equation, so that means that's the equivalent of starting here and applying a dagger twice. Once here, and once here, and we get an expression like this. Our original eigenvalue, energy eigenvalue, plus 2 h bar omega a dagger squared times the ground level eigenstate. So I think by now the pattern is becoming clear that if we did this say n number of times, then the kind of equation we're going to end up with is the Hamiltonian times a dagger 
to the tenth power times the ground level eigenstate equals and that is our ground level eigenvalue or ground level uh, energy value plus n h bar omega times omega beta to the n times the ground level eigenstate. Yes. So you see that each successive application of a dagger, well, each time it gives us a new eigenfunction here. And each time the corresponding eigenvalue, each time continues to increase in value. So that is why a dagger, which I think was in video number 23, you define as this, that's why it is called a raising operator, or sometimes it is called the creation operator, because it has those properties that we just demonstrated. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Hope that was helpful. Uh, we'll try to get some more videos prepared in our topics of quantum mechanics, so watch the playlist for that. We'll try and continue our discussion, and then we'll talk about things like the angular momentum um, and actually deriving Schrodinger's equation uh, using partial differential equation expressions. So watch for those videos. We'll try and continue our discussions.